Welcome to the Pharma Voice 100 one on one video series with Taryn Grohn. Indeed, congratulations for being named to the 2020 Pharma Voice 100. Thank you, Taryn. I'm super excited to be here and what an honor. Well, thank you for joining us as well for our 24 hour celebration marathon. Um, I have a couple of questions I'd love to pose to you. Um, one, I know you have a passion around setting new standards for point of care. Why is this so important? So when I joined Outcome Health three years ago now, uh, the point of care space is, was very nascent and it lacked a lot of what effective standards to be able to serve our customers well. And this is particularly true for the digital aspect of things. And point of care being in a healthcare vertical, it's a highly regulated environment. So at Outcome Health, we have created a culture of transparency and we're helping increase compliance along with national advertising trade organizations. And we, our expectations of all our associates is that they familiarize themselves with and be, be in compliance with pharma code of conduct, particularly as it relates to interactions with healthcare professionals. And as we move forward uh, with our leading edge data platform and infrastructure, it really helps us be a trusted partner to all our clients, includes healthcare professionals, pharma, and most importantly, patients. And we are not doing any of this on our own. We're doing it in conjunction with industry veterans who've done this for other verticals and channels, such as BPA, IQVIA, and Nielsen. And I personally believe that as we raise the bar at Outcome Health, it truly benefits the entire point of care channel. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for those insights. Now, secondly, you are one of the top women executives in the technology field. As such, you are a role model to so many women out there. What advice do you have to offer them to those who might want to also rise to the top of their field? Yeah. So growing up, I grew up in India. And even as a young child, I was always raised to be a rule breaker, a risk taker, and it manifests itself in so many ways. I still remember I used to race motorbikes and they didn't even have a category for girls. So I raced with the boys. And of course I took a lot of tumbles and scratches. And every time my father would be like, get up, pick yourself up, be tenacious, go do it. So tenacity, perseverance, I know when you say it, it's cliche, but when you actually absorb it in your day to day, it makes such a big difference. And speaking of my father, who was a scientist and who really influenced a lot of how I think, one of the things he did when I was a five-year-old, he had me make a fist, Taryn, and he said to me, always remember what you know is a fistful and what you don't is everything else around you. And to this day, you know, it's developed this sense of curiosity in me. And through all these years, I've learned so much and it's humbling to know that what I don't know is the world around me. And so uh, all this leading to, you know, be an eternal learner, be curious, remain a work in progress and wear that as a badge. And then finally, I would say to all the women, learn to have one or more sponsors, mentors and advertisers, and learn to differentiate between each of those categories and most importantly, you yourself owe it to other women to be sponsors, mentors, and advisors. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. And I love that lesson from your dad. That's wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Taryn. For more PharmaVoice 100 content, visit www.pharmavoice100.com.